So we just start, we just go, you first. Ladies first. Oh. <laughs> His name is Toby, otherwise known as Nerd. This is Lynn, aka Fuckhead. <laughs> that's not a joke, that's actually what you call yourself. I brought my laptop. Me and this laptop are like the closest thing to being a cyborg. There's no one network, posse shot, Saint side, sushi, triple one, more no one network. Just all the people I fuck with. This is my whole brain. Probably the most important thing to me. Apart from, you know, people. <laughs> That's my thing. I have a lot of special items. There's a mood board that I made me come to life. Like all the support that um, the whole No One Network crew was incredible. So I kept it as is. <laughs> my other special item. Pioneer road case. Matte black. Because we like to wear triple black a lot. <laughs> This is one of the scrapbooks. I kept this from the first shoot I ever like really styled for what we wore as like the school uniform. Scrapbook I made for like Toby's outfits. With like Alta Munted and like Rat Life. And of course, yeah, no one knows. And Toby got me this for my birthday. <laughs> no to anxiety, yes to epic life. I ordered it really drunk and forgot that I ordered it and it came like a month later and I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> you want to start? What do you fear the most when someone asks you about your art? I don't really like talking about it sometimes because there's like a stigma in Australia about like hip hop. It's less now, so I guess just like pigeonholing it is probably like the biggest fear. Yeah. If, if I can, I usually wait a while to tell like people I meet about the music stuff. As a creative, what are the biggest challenges you have faced? Sometimes when you're creative, you're not, you don't always have ideas, but that's when you have to kind of discipline yourself to sit down and wait for that to come. The struggle is like whether people will like it or not. I feel like that's something that people need to let go of, you know, if you want to get to the... Thanks, Mom. You know. What's something you wish you knew before you started your profession? Damn. I wish I finished my uni degree before I started because doing it at the same time is 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 a shit show. Like if I if I knew it already then I wouldn't have done like half the stuff I did because I did yeah. that to learn. I don't really have any regrets or like wish I knew anything when I went into it. Um, there's probably like a few people I wouldn't have worked with if I knew. Yeah. But sure. um, that's that's just how it is. What stereotypes do you face within your work? Ooh. Spill the tea. Ooh. I personally haven't had to do anything with that. True. Yeah. In like the spaces that you work in? Yeah, the spaces yeah. that I work in, but that's probably why I choose to work in them. Yeah, that's yeah. good. That's good. What's your biggest wonder about my art? Your art? Uh, Talking like... DJing, it's like, where the hell did you find this Sean Kingston doof remix? <laughs> Um, yeah. Probably how you like visualize clothing and style things in your brain. Like that's just <laughs> colors, clothing, fits, dark web, SoundCloud, hellhole. Have you found this fucking crazy ass remix? <laughs> I know. Sometimes I just wonder why you don't have more confidence because you're good at what you do. You just stop worrying about what people think. Yeah, we're getting deep. What are your go to tools to create your work? Dark web SoundCloud. <laughs> SoundCloud, Bandcamp. And as for clothing, it's just honestly, I don't look for inspiration anywhere. Like, I just look at sites and whatever makes me feel a type of way that works for me. Those are my main tools. Mm, laptop. But mainly my brain. Cool oh pens. my god, um, AirPods. Mm. AirPod Pros, noise cancelling. Amazing. Big tool. Buy them now. What's your guilty pleasure? <laughs> Emily in Paris. That's yours. No. <laughs> nah. Guilty pleasure. Emily in Paris. Shit rom-coms. I watched the whole of Sex Life and the ending was absolutely shit house. That was big regret. Nicotine. My one crux. R&B. Yeah, I love should be guilty about that. Yeah. What are some of the craziest times in your life? When we went skydiving. Yeah, that was For pretty sure, hectic. Yeah. Or what when about I... when you crashed into a garbage truck in Thailand? Oh, fuck. Tell them, tell them about it. About that? Okay, I didn't mean to. I was in a golf cart picking vintage in Thailand and there was this garbage Casual. truck parked there and I just was like, oh, I can drive through that. Ended up breaking the mirror on the side of the, gar like the, the, side, mirror of the garbage truck and then I had to wait there and 
take an awkward photo of me exchanging the cash with the insurance dude. Get the photo off her later. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> Worst part is like, I didn't know whether to like smile or not in that photo for the it's insurance. Really like, what photo. the fuck are you supposed to do? You're like, yeah, I just broke you. You're your... just handing him money. Yeah, like... and there's like a photo of me and I was like this. Or when I stole Schoolboy Q's boxes off his rider in the green room. That's nasty. And ran away. The brand new AS color one. Did you get them framed? Fuck no. How would you describe your life in one minute? I got a stopwatch. Oh fuck. Um. Hold up. Okay, let me know when you're ready. Yeah. Uh, I was born at a very young age. <laughs> <laughs> Go away. Um, how do I describe my life in one minute? Um, damn. Kind of like halfway between uh, Need for Speed, like The Hobbit, The Matrix, kind of like, you know, born in Melbourne, good kid in school, moved up to Brisbane, everyone wild the fuck out, that's when shit got real. Started playing sport, did school and stuff, got into music. I feel like there could be a bit more action in this. DJ. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't seconds. know. Yeah, uh, fuck, man, put me on the line here. How do I describe my life in one minute? Um, Fantastic. Very, it's kind of just gone out like that. Like from Five, the four, three, two, one. Thanks. <laughs> you did well, Melvin. Yeah, cheers. Boy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what would you do with a million dollars? I would invest it. Maybe half for investing, the other half of the other half, so the quarter, give it to my family, and then investing people I love. Guys, it's not just about business. And then probably a lot of um, music equipment, for sure. USBs. No, Shit headphones. loads of vapes. A lot of vapes. I'll get vapes, man. Oh, you'll start your own brand? Yeah. What would you call them? Headfuck. Because it gives you a head spin. Okay, cool. That'd be like 150 nick. 150 nick, bro. Oh my god. All right. What are some of your strangest experiences? Being sober and watching people get absolutely turned the fuck up. Turned the fuck up. Is always really strange. And that's not like shade. That's just like fun. A lot of my strangest experiences were with Kyle on our first trip interstate with music. I don't know how much I can say about that, but I'm not even talking about the shit you did. I'm talking about the stuff we witnessed. Good. I guess like my whole last four or five years has been a strange experience. What is your go-to track? To listen to? Yeah. Oh, I gotta check my phone. Is that allowed? It's hard, man. It's so hard. <laughs> Everyone's like... What's yours? Uh, TikTok by Kesha. No, I'm kidding. No. Um, that's your go-to track to play. Fuck no. When I'm driving you and your fucked up mates around no, the city. No, I. That's not. Can I borrow your phone? You guys. Are... Banger. <laughs> and I really like "Way Out" by Jack Harlow. Though. Yeah, that's a banger. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> What is the outfit you see represents the other person the most? 95s or shocks. A good structured shoe because it's got big feet. So like you're talking about a kid at daycare. Nice like sh cargo pants. Nothing too slim. Slim okay. thick. Slim. Okay. Type of tactical looking bottoms and crew neck sweaters. And now a hat to top it all off. I'm a hat guy now. It didn't just happen. Oh it's, yeah, it's true. Yeah. It's because you. Thought. Yeah. Respect. Respect. <laughs> Hand hug. Do you think you can separate an artist from their talent to them as a person? Damn, that's a pretty deep question. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to meet everyone that I listen to. Well, no. I think it puts a bit of a stain on the music, like when yeah, you hear about exactly. bad shit, you know? And then yeah. there's also good people that I love that make music that I don't, I'm not that into. Yeah, right. I still love them. They know me deeper than like my music. And yeah, they're not they're not just gonna like they know me as like Toby, they're not gonna walk into my house and be like, into the eat the you know what I mean? Like they, they separate it, like to a degree. Yeah. You know, but yeah. bottom line, you you can separate depending on the situation. Yeah, yeah, I think it's all situational. Yeah. You can't just like put it across the board. Cool. What's my contact name in your phone? Ah, big sexy nerve junior. That's so fucked because up. Because big sexy What's my contact photo? Vin Diesel. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's because being sexy is what um, Toby and I call Vin Diesel. So I just thought it was funny. Tell them, tell them about Vin, Vin Diesel. <sighs> you think he's hot? I think. You think Vin Diesel's hot? <laughs> I'm going to say this loud and proud. Vin Diesel as Dom Toretto in Fast and Furious 1. Stop half-stepping it. You think not, Vin Diesel's hot? I think, I think he's funny. And his real name is Mark Sinclair. Did you guys know that? Your name in my phone is Catawampus and your contact photo is just some dude with sideburns. <laughs> Who is DJ Greencrack? <laughs> uh, I've been toying with the idea of like a different alias for techno remixes and stuff because I don't smoke that much, but if I do smoke, I want to smoke sativa. And I had writer's block and then I like smoked that and it was like someone gave me three cups of coffee and was like, you can do anything. So I wrote like two tracks in 45 minutes. Fuck yeah. yeah. And that's when we started DJing together. The I was like, you need an alias. Crack. Crackhead would be our yeah. name together. R&B remix mixtape and calling it Enter flip. the E to the R&B. Yeah. Did you start getting tattoos and which one was your first? Stupid wave because I was really into Tumblr back then. When I was, when I first turned 18, like two days after I first turned 18. Rebellious. <laughs> Have to tell you about my favorite tattoo and it's my tattoo that says he he. It's got a cool font. Where is it? There. Can you see it? It says he he. It's very me. Yeah, like a little bit cute, but the font's Aww. like gothic because like, because you know, you'll like, rip, you'll no, rip someone's head off. no, yeah, that's just me in a nutshell. Psycho. Yeah. So why don't you have your chin beard anymore? I respect myself now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Why like, did? Wait, hold on. Why did you have it in the first place? Because I didn't respect myself. Maybe I, maybe I respected myself too much. Actually, maybe I just didn't check myself enough. I was yeah, too that confident. was before fuckhead era. Yeah, way before. I don't let myself go more than three days without a shave now. I believe you. How was living in Shanghai, how has it impacted your life? Lived in Thailand for a little bit to work and then I'd go back and forth between Thailand and China. When I did go to Shanghai though, I was able to make a lot of friends in the fashion world and in the art world, but it made me realise how fortunate we are to be like to live here, you know. Where did Fuckhead come from? High school, I made the name fuckhead because I didn't want to be found on Instagram. You know, started becoming my DJ name and my name in real life too. And now you do want to be found on Instagram. The way the turntables. The tape, yep, yeah. uh-huh. DJ joke. What was Syntax Junkies? That was my first rap crew. I started making music with my homie CI. Oh, and, um, shout out CI. Yeah, shout out CI. Uh, we were called Thought Junkies and then we met a few other blokes. I built a lot of, of my rap skills with that yeah. crew. Did the yeah. first like 22 track album with them. Yeah, we just ran a mark, hey. Did a lot of local shows. That was kind of like the training grounds. Like we were doing free shows all over the city. Yeah. And just like sort of, you know, sharpening our teeth. Yeah. We had shows where we were at like the front of a cafe and people had to walk like through us to get to the toilet. Yeah. And we were just like going absolutely ham. Like we had we had this one track where we would the hook was just us saying fuck off like 16 times. <laughs> yeah. It was just like fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. And people were like, who are these 19 year olds? Yeah. And what is their business here? But people loved well, it. It was mad. Now. Yeah, so look at you now. Paid nah, off. that was a very crucial part of the of musical journey. Syntax junkies, yeah, that was that was fresh. Fuck Mary Kill. Pioneer, Newmark, or Vinyl Decks? Kill Newmark. I like vinyl because that's how I started making music, so I'd probably marry it. But Vinyl's been there from the start, yeah, so I but, would marry but, vinyl. Yeah, okay. And I would fuck Pioneer because that's that's what's happening right now. Yeah. Fuck, marry, kill. Styling, DJ, full-time meme lord. Fuck, styling, marry, DJing. Aww, but I don't want to kill being a full-time meme lord, but sure, I can always resurrect. Yeah. Lose a piece of you if you killed any of them. Fuck, marry, kill. Primary school, high school, uni. Definitely not gonna fuck primary school. You're gonna kill primary school. Wait, hey, I'd marry high school because I actually had a sick time. Yeah, you'd kill uni though. So maybe ma marry primary school, fuck high school, yeah. and kill uni. Yeah. 100%. So basically, my life's just going downhill. Oh, quit it. Yeah. Marry, kill. Mullet, buzz cut, fade. Okay, go on. Kill fade. I went to this one barber shop. Yeah, yeah, you said, yeah. And they were like, 
I was like, can I just get a zero on the back and the sides? Yeah. And they looked at me like I was a maniac. And they yeah. were like, no, and it was like one of them barber shops where like everyone, everyone in the barber shop has the same haircut and everyone walking out of the barber shop has the same haircut. Yeah. And I was like, just, just do the cunt, you know, yeah. just shave it off. And they were like, no, oh, I'll give you a fade, it'll look fresh. It'll and I was like, you like can, two seconds. I was like, yeah, you can do that, bro. Give me a fade, but I'm probably going to tell you to shave yeah. it off. Yeah. And, and then he spent 45 minutes giving me a fade and then I told him to shave it off and everyone in the shop was just like off it. Mad off it, because I still only paid him like 25 bucks. Yeah. It's, what am I Pointless. doing trying to get a fade? Fuck, marry, kill. SoundCloud, Spotify, Apple. Kill Apple. Fuck Spotify. And marry SoundCloud. Can I answer this too? Because I got a hot take. I would kill. <laughs> I would kill Spotify. I like Spotify, but also Apple pays the best, so I'll marry Apple. Marry Apple. Fuck SoundCloud and kill Spotify. Yeah. Because Spotify Sound, SoundCloud's hot. And Apple supports you. That, yeah, but also Spotify support me a lot, so that's kind of, that's a yeah. So just check that out. Yeah, you probably should. Who would win in a fight, TNs or Crocs? Crocs all the way. Sports mode with a strap on. Yeah. You, a, and and the TNs, the TNs would cry as soon as they got a scuff yeah. on. Yeah. You, you can put the gibbets in there for extra protection in the holes. Yeah, gibbets. Gibbets. Oh, yeah, gibbets. Who would win in a fight, drill or techno? Yeah, I've definitely seen scarier people at techno gigs. 100%. Fucking, uh, no, techno but... e-girls would put a crux on you. Who would win in a fight, Winx or Bratz? Winx. They got powers. Duh. That was easy. <laughs> Who would win in a fight, analog or digital mixer? Digital would win in a fight. It's like a baby versus like, you know, Vegeta. Vegeta's going to hit him with the Kamehameha and just, <laughs> and just turn Sorry, him keep inside out. Yeah, Gross. Sorry. Who would win in a fight, Kmart or Target? They both lose. Yeah. <laughs> they would knock each other well. out at the same time. <laughs> My mum says um, Kmart's better. Under or overrated, Ableton? It's perfectly rated. I've worked out that you're a, you're a sick cunt, and then I go like, what do you use? And they're like, Ableton, and I'm like, boom. It's like a, you know? Underrated or overrated, dogs. Perfectly rated. Yeah. Out of. We got some boring answers, huh? Underrated to cat people. Under or overrated tuck shop? Like I would get lunch money on a Friday. Yeah. I would get 10 bucks on a Friday, but I never used it. I would just pack a really sneaky lunch and then buy a Bond Street 20 pack. It smells so good and you're like, wow, like hot chicken and shit. But like you can make way better stuff. Slushy machine, the potato hot chips. Smileys. Potato smileys, yes. Yeah. Play water, look it up, play water. Yeah, I know, play water. Yeah, work at a tuck shop, but then I, they told me to stop working because I was giving away chicken noodles to my friends. Yeah. Under or overrated? Alcohol. I'm allergic to alcohol. She had three Zip Alizés. It. No, it, was it. It, it wasn't three Alizés. It was one and a half Alizé. It was two vodka cranberries and something else. And then Lynn, she was there. She you could vouch for my. You weren't there. <laughs> yeah. You were in an Uber home, gone. And there was that one time I gave you a shot of plum wine and you went to the bathroom and texted me and said, I think I'm dying. <laughs> no, overrated. Home studio. Underrated. Oh, yeah, underrated. Because every time I go into like an expensive studio, I get imposter syndrome and I can't make anything. Yeah. And all, the, all of my favorite shit I've ever made, I've made in my bedroom. Yeah, lockdown. Pick your favorite post from each other's Instagram feed. The Vape Nation one's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Three, two, one. <laughs> it's Lynn taking a selfie with a pop tart. Probably this one. It's of Toby as a kid. Before I ever met him at one of like the no one parties, um, I was wonder. I was like, who is this dude? And then I was like, like what? And then and then I found this photo. I was like, what? A, what a wanker! And like, I'm not kidding. Like a week later, I met him. It was like, what a loser. Still. And nothing's changed. Yeah, yeah, nothing's changed. Cheesy ass fucking smile. I know too much. I, I know enough. <laughs> I wish I knew less. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nah. I wish there was more to know. You wouldn't be able to handle it. Don't worry about it. Hey. You guys have ruined our friendship. Thanks. <laughs> Peace out, mate.